Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm off on a short cruise today. The weather is absolutely glorious. Couldn't ask for more. Taking it nice and easy, so I'm coming up to the marina entrance or exit, I should say. It doubles for both, so there you go. Just approaching the exit now. I'm going to go left out of the marina. Hey! <laughs> Another successful exit, wonderful. I'm on the Leicester line, the Grand Union Canal. I'm heading down to Watford Locks. Before I get to the locks, I have to go through Crick Tunnel. I've really been looking forward to this trip. It's gonna be a four or five day trip down the Grand Union Canal. The sun, <coughs> oh, it was in my voice. The sun is dead ahead of me now, hence the bright background. Just coming up to a winding point. This is quite a familiar footbridge we're just going under. I'm just passing Creek Marina. Crick is where the well-known boat show is held every year. I made a film of it last year and I'll put a link down below. I can see some fishermen ahead. Looks like I might be disturbing their day, but only for a short while. Just past the Moorings restaurant, which was on my left, and we're now passing ABNB quality boat sales. And they do tend to have some quite nice boats there. So if you are thinking of looking for a boat, do bear them in mind. I can now see the tunnel entrance, so I'm going to uh, put my waterproof jacket on, I think. Crick Tunnel is very wet inside. They're not all like that, but for some reason Crick is extra wet. Get a lot of dripping. So I've put my coat on and I've changed my hat as well. I think this is uh, more suited to the drips falling on my head. Switch my headlamp on now while I think of it. Well, I can't see any boats in the tunnel. There's no light shining at me.
soon be coming out the tunnel into daylight. You can see the other portal behind me in the distance, that little white light there. It's not being sunny out there, which is just what we want. We'll slow down as we're approaching a bridge straight away. Turn my headlight off. Sound my horn. Uh, three bridges to do, then I'll be at Watford Locks where the volunteers will assist me down the flight. There are seven locks in all. There's the top lock, then you cross the pound, and there's a flight of four staircase locks which connect one into the other. Then you cross another pound into the sixth lock as it were, and then another pound, that's the seventh lock, and then you're out, <laughs> having done the whole flight. So I'm looking forward to that. Although I have been through the flight before, I haven't actually been on the boat. Um, I was always up top doing a bit of filming. any boats and I haven't today so far. I think just said that there's one coming. Can't believe it can you? Hello, lovely day. Just pulled over for a quick comfort break. This is the sort of thing that will damage your boat and particularly the blacking which is a special treatment given to preserve the steel and prevent it from rusting. It's going to get underway again. One more bridge to go now, and then I'll be at the locks. I'm just going through the bridge. There's another boat coming towards me. Hi. Right. All set for me then. I've actually made a mistake. There is one more bridge. I've completely forgotten about the motorway, the M1. We just have to go under that. <laughs> Not so busy with lorries today. Here comes one. Well, I'm all moored up. I've just spoken to the volunteer lock keepers and booked my passage down the flight. At present there are two boats actually in the staircase flight which are coming up. Once they've come out of there they've got to do the top lock and then they'll come past me. Once they've done that I'll be able to go into the locks and make my way down.
and I'm just about to set off into the lock. Thanks for your help. Cheers, Thomas. All the best. Well, that was a very quick passage through the locks. It only took about 25 minutes. Normally, we allow about 45 minutes to come through the locks. So it does show what the teamwork of the volunteers can achieve and how much are they needed. In fact, I might have mentioned before that uh, I am a volunteer here as well. So uh, it's interesting to actually come through the locks and see it from a different perspective. Well, I don't think I've said for a while what a glorious day it is. It's absolutely fantastic. I know you've heard me say that before, but uh, it is absolutely wonderful.
This is Welton Station Bridge we've just gone under. So there must have been a station here at one time. From subsequent research, I discovered that the station closed to passengers in 1958 and to goods traffic in 1964. We're now coming up to a railway bridge. Just over a mile from where I'm planning to moor up for the night. It's still actually the middle of the afternoon, but tomorrow I'll be tackling the Buckley flight of locks. These are seven locks, they'll be going down. They're quite heavy, they're known for being heavy gates. I have been through them before, but it will be my first time doing it solo, unless I meet another boat, of course, and get some help. So I'm mooring up early today so that I can, uh, well not only get some rest, but so I can tackle the locks first thing in the morning. We are promised another sunny day, which is good. So uh, we'll see how we get on tomorrow. I'm going to be passing the Welford Haven Arena shortly, which will be on my left. Just passing the marina now. It's so nice not to be rushed. miles an hour is always talked about as the speed on the canals. Other people say well it's walking pace. Well there have been some people walking ahead of me for some while now and I'm sort of maintaining that distance. I wouldn't say I'm going that fast actually. I think a lot of boaters go faster than I'm going at the moment. You can just see the people walking ahead of me now. This is Welton Fields narrow boats coming up. Thank you. A boater in the marina just shouted out to me, happy travels. That was nice of him. I don't think he knows me or anything. Well, I'm getting close to Norton Junction now. There's one more bridge to do, and that's just before the junction. I'll be bearing to the left and then mooring up. This is the junction of the Grand Union main line with the Leicester section 
which I've just come off. I've just moored here temporarily so I can go forward and check to see whether there are any other spaces. Just moving my mooring position as where I moored up just now was the boat shouldn't have been there. It was for work boats only. I came to check position up here and found there was one more space, which I'm just about to moor up to. Hello. Just going to tighten the stern band grease up. Well, it's been a very pleasant day's cruising. Glorious weather. Everything's gone according to plan. Came through the Watford locks without much difficulty. It was a short wait but uh, wasn't too long. Passed two other boats actually coming up out of the locks. Haven't passed many other boats today, I think it's only two. Anyway, I'm moored up just down from Norton Junction, ready to tackle the Buckley flights tomorrow. I should say flight. <laughs> um, there's seven locks though, so that's probably what I'm thinking of. I'm moored right in front of the top lock, ready for the off in the morning.